What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I'm going to show you how to install a second computer uh, to VIP Shop Management. Uh, with VIP Shop Management you can install up to three computers at the same time. Uh, one server and two clients. And if you want to add an additional uh, computer, it's $50 each. Um, so let's, let's get to it. Um, the first, number one and number two, you don't need to install. Uh, number three, we need to install the Microsoft Edge Chrome Runtime. So I'm going to click on Download. And uh, we're going to click on... It's really simple to install. This is just for the web browser inside VIP Shop Management, which is it's the latest uh, Microsoft Chrome. To, to, uh, when you install a client version, you will need two things. Uh, number one, you will need the IP address for the server, which is the first computer uh, that you installed the VIP shop management on. And the second thing, you will need the MySQL password. So remember that. Uh, so once we're done from this step, that's it. We're just going to go ahead and install VIP shop management um, uh, application. A lot of people try to install one, two, three. On the client application, you don't need to only you only need to install one, two, and three on the server application. On the client application, all you need is three and four. We're gonna go ahead and install the application. Click on install. So, like I said, remember so you're gonna need the IP address uh, from the from the server and you're going to need the MySQL password. So once we get to this page, you're going to click on I agree. And this is the main step that make a lot of people make a mistake. Uh, they just click confirm, uh, even though it's asking if you want to install as a server or as a client. So when you add in a computer, um, you got to install as a client. So what happened? What's that mean as a client? I mean, this computer will not save the data on its hard drive. It's going to read and write to the server, which is the main computer. Uh, don't be confused about the whole server client. It's just two computers talking to each other. And that's it. Uh, some people take the whole server and client as a, do I need a real server? No, really. Uh, server means just a computer, the first computer. Uh, it's going to save the data. So uh, in, in this case, you know, we installed VIP Shop Management on the first computer. All the data will be saved on the hard drive or the SSD drive on that computer. Uh, this computer is just a client, which means it's not going to save any data. It's just going to read and write from into the server, which is the first computer that has VIP shop management. So make sure you click on client uh, installation and then click confirm. And at this moment, it's going to ask you for two things. It's going to ask you for the IP address and it's going to ask you for MySQL password. The IP address, you got to go to the first computer. In this case, um, I, I have like the, both computers connected uh, through TeamViewer. So this is, a, this is the server. You see where it says server just underneath. Uh, um, uh, that's how you, can, you know which one is which. So underneath it says server. And to get the IP address for this computer, uh, we're just going to click on settings and show IP address. So that's the IP address going to say. We need this IP address, 10.0.0.30. Uh, we're just going to go back. And remember, you in your case, you got to go to the actual computer. So we're going to uh, delete this. We're going to type in 10.0.0.30. Make sure you put the dots too and don't put any spaces. And you will need the MySQL password. If I installed it for you, the MySQL password is already um, in, in, in uh, f like already written for you. If you install it yourself, you gotta know my SQL password. Uh, my SQL password cannot be changed. Keep that in mind. So we're gonna click on save. And once you get this message uh, successfully connected to my SQL, that means you're good. If you did not get this message and the IP address is correct and the password is correct, if the password was incorrect, it was gonna give you, let me see if I can go back. I'm gonna try again, and I'm gonna type in the wrong password. Um, so if if you if you are establishing a connection and you get an access denied, that means you just typed the wrong IP address. 
so that's really easy you just need the, the correct ip address but uh, if you type in the wrong ip address or the or you type in an ip address outside of the network um, it's gonna be a, it's it's gonna be a problem. So you're gonna get um, error message like, first of all, it's gonna take forever trying to connect. Like probably I think up to thirty seconds. It times out if you can't find it. And so it's gonna give you a server IP address or service blocked by antivirus. Um, you must on uh, on. Uh, on a server computer which is I mean where it says server right here if you have antivirus like a Norton or McAfee you must uninstall them to be able to establish a connection and um, this is not just because VIP shop management is the antivirus uh, will always try to block any connection even though it's local it's trying to block any connection so um, the only way to get around it you might have to call uh, McAfee or, or Norton to work around it uh, some people try to do it themselves and you know they, they they fix it for like 15 minutes and the second day it blocks it and they lose connection in my computers I, I always uh, rely on Windows Defender I don't like any uh, third-party antivirus so I don't mess with these so the only way to if you have antivirus like Norton McAfee Avast there's so many of them uh, their job will be blocking uh, your other computer uh, to connect to this computer remember you got to be able to connect from a, a different computer to this computer uh, I get this question a lot where people want to connect from home and uh, that's not possible because this is a local uh, network uh, for for you to connect to home uh, the only way we offer us to do though to do so is we got to put your data on the cloud and that's something we're going to be offering in 2021 but that's monthly subscription so if you don't like my monthly subscription and you don't don't really care uh, just stick with connection inside the shop me personally I never needed to connect to my shop from home but I understand some people have the need to do so so we're gonna be offering a cloud version of it. it's already ready for cloud we just haven't offered the safe service yet we are shopping around to figure out if Google or uh, or Amazon is gonna be hosting a cloud for VIP shop management Anyway, so like I said, if you are having this problem, this message, number one, you need to check, make sure they're on the same network. How do you know they are on, they are on the same network? You see, this computer IP address is already saying right here, it starts with 10. So meaning the other computer should be starting with the same thing. So it's either it's going to start with 10 or it's going to start with 192. Those two are the only, I believe so far, the only local IP address. So if one of them start with 10 and the other one start with 192, that means you have multiple routers uh, at your uh, at your um, uh, shop or whatever. Uh, do not try to uh, connect from home. It's not gonna work. Uh, there's a way around it, but it's really it's a disaster because you need a static IP address. I tried that and I failed in it because it's so much work. Anyway, so once you get, like I said, make sure there's no antivirus, not on this computer, the client doesn't matter if it has an antivirus or not. Uh, the problem, we need to connect to this computer, the server, uh, where it says server. So if there's an antivirus on the server, uh, that's gonna be a problem. So that's why you need to uninstall it because it's gonna block any connection between uh, your other computers to this computer. So once you fix that, um, you just type in, uh, let's go back, remember where you get the IP address, click on settings and then show IP it's right here settings show IP and that's right there let's go back and make sure it's, it says 30 um, and we're gonna click on save and once you get this just click continue once you get this you're pretty much all set uh, you don't really need to do anything uh, just click continue and you just need to sign in with Google uh, make sure you sign in to the same Gmail because those all have, must be the same Gmail for all computers. So you're going to click on sign in with Google. If you already signed in, it's going to give you this message. Continue. The, the product key for the client will be automatically populated. Uh, so it's really simple. And just click on activate and done. And all your data now will be synced. And uh, so whatever you see right here, um, if I go to the server, Let's see right here so and which is really good if you um, if you accessed one if you opened one 
on this computer and then I try to open it from here you see it's gonna give me a message it's gonna tell me this this invoice or this estimate is open from the, on the other computer you want to take over if you click on that yes and what happened look what happened. It's gonna kick this one out um, this computer out so yep yeah, estimate so we kicked this computer out um, that's it for today I appreciate you guys watching until next time thanks for watching